Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. Today I got something really special for you. It's the brand new FX Streamline in the 30 caliber, 7.62 caliber. Uh, of course, this is the Germany legal version, um, which only has five and a half foot pounds, but actually it only takes about one minute to convert it to full power. And then we're talking serious, serious power and great accuracy, which is really the strength of the FX guns, which I think are the most accurate air guns on the entire market. So, the FX Streamline in 7.62 and 30 caliber. Let me show you its features. I love it because um, it's available in so many different configurations. This is the tactical, where you need to buy an AR-15 rear stock and just attach it. And also, of course, I put on a scope. I chose an FX scope and I used a little bit of a higher mount just because I like my scopes a little higher. It just feels more natural to aim. So if it's too low, then I have to put down my cheek too much on the rest. And I don't like this very much. This is the magazine. It's a 30, 13 round magazine. And of course you can also use slugs. Whereas of course in the five and a half foot pound version, um, this is what you gotta use. The German version only has the hammer uh, spring regulator here. This means in max it has five and a half foot pounds and then you can go lower if you want. And this here normally is the regulator for the uh, transport um, valve. And this means that this is fixed in the lowest position but of course in the uh, US version you get uh, max power, medium power and low power and then you can easily uh, regulate this down to low power if you want silent, if you want to use low energy consumption just because if you want to do some blinking no need to, to shoot it at full power. Yeah this one also has the barrel band and of course it also comes with the moderator which is really only an empty shell, which is all you need. If you put this on even in full power, it just, just sounds like you would clap in your hands. It's so silent. It's really, really silent, even at full power. Yeah, it's of course, it's extremely well made and I think it's the most accurate air gun in the market because it's, it's just made in Sweden by these guys and these are true champs. I really have to bow, you know, because everything it's just perfect. It's just, it doesn't rattle. Everything is just beautiful to look at. It feels great. So I think it's the coolest air gun in the market. Sorry, I'm biased. <laughs> All right, distance is 10 meters now. Let's go. 13 shots. Das war's. So, that was it. <laughs> I think it's really accurate. Well, as you can see, accuracy is amazing. If you keep in mind, it's a big bore air rifle with uh, just a, a tiny little bit of energy, just five and a half foot pounds, seven and a half joule. Okay, so next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna do some plinking on a can of dog food, empty of course. I weighed it down with a little bit of lead so that it's not gonna fly away with the first hit, but it's at a 30 meter, 33 yard distance, which is an awful distance for a five and a half foot pound air rifle, specifically because it's a big bore one in the 30 caliber. Let's see if we can hit it 13 times. That's my goal. <laughs> That's it. Das war's. 13 Schuss, 13 shots. I think every one of them hit. <laughs> 
Okay, so this is extreme test because on the 50 meter, 55 yard distance over there, past the uh, 30 meter target with the, uh, with the uh, green little bucket, there is a dock can hanging on one of my other uh, target mattresses. And let's see if I can hit it with a five and a half foot pound 30 caliber air gun. <laughs> it, it will bring me to my limits as a shooter, that's for sure. But let's go for it. Okay, we will now try to hit it three consecutive times uh, from this distance. And if we can do that, then we, we will declare it accurate enough for it. Dreimal. <laughs> Three times. I go for number four. Ich versuche einfach mal, ob ich noch weiter schießen kann. Bin ja gerade so gut dabei. Ha. Okay. Das macht so viel Spaß. So that was really, really accurate and it is of course even more accurate if you shoot it in the full power version and then you can also use slugs and then you can really go hunting with it, I guess. So before I go, I would like to present to you the stuff that I'm currently working on. As you know, I still make things and uh, I'm also a knife designer, as you may know. Uh, my pocket shatter was a huge success, sold out within 72 hours. So now I'm working on the next thing. And by going through my knife collection, I found this. This is my really old, like bought over 30 years ago, I bought this Swiss army knife. And this is actually, this is actually a model by Wenger. There's also Victorinox, of course, those are the two large manufacturers. And this has been with me through thick and thin, and it's still a sharp knife and still useful, even though the springs are a little bit weakening and so on. But of course, it's a tiny knife, it's really small. Uh, and of course, completely legal to carry. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking, why don't I do one that looks just like a Swiss Army knife, but is much, much bigger and incredibly, incredibly powerful and strong. So like a true Magnum version of it for real men. <laughs> so I've sat down and started to make a prototype. And here is what I came up with. So here it is. <laughs> the first wooden prototype of the Jörg Army knife. <laughs> Let me show you its features. Well, as you, as you see, it still retains the original shape of the Swiss Army knife, even though it is, of course, much bigger. Now, this is all wood, so it's really light, but the end version will be really, really heavy, like 10 times more heavy than this. Um, the blade thickness is 4 millimeters, so that's more than twice as thick as the original, which is only 1.8 millimeters. Uh, also, uh, the side plates will also be steel and they will also be 4 millimeters, so it will be massive, massive, massive. So it has a backlog, of course, and the backlog will be extra strong because I will use a hex pin, just like I normally do on my knives. This works a little bit like the triad lock, but it doesn't, um, it doesn't uh, hurt their patent, since it's not a round pin, it's a hex pin that secures the blade. So in any case, this will be a monster knife. It will be heavy and very powerful and very strong and legal to carry in Germany, even though it's really long. <laughs> so I'm not sure if I will put this in, put into production. Let me know what would you, if I would put it in production, it would of course be a limited edition. And of course it would take a year or a year and a half from now on. One remark against, will there be other tools in it? No, because I want the blade center. Like every knife I think should have the main tool right in the center. So I don't want to put in like saws and other stuff. If you want a multi-tool, go buy a leather man. This is a knife that's not a multi-tool. <laughs> but it has one huge advantage and this is, is a very slim. So it's a little bit like a big cell phone. It still is okay in the pocket because, it, because it's so flat. It's only 12 millimeters thickness, even so it's even though it's very, very sturdy. And uh, the round shape here make it really comfortable in the pocket. It doesn't really snag anywhere. So that's why I still think that the design of the original Swiss Army knife is so cool. Anyway, I hope you liked this because that's it for today. Thanks and bye bye.